Welcome back to the channel. We're smoking on my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats, overachieving, never slacking. And I am fresh back from uh, traveling. You know, I was out of town, so I kind of got to get back in the mojo and, you know, remember my, you might look into my list of the recommendations and suggestions and, and, uh, you know, get, get back on track here because, you know, I'll be, I'll be ahead of schedule. So a lot of times I might be scheduled out a week or two ahead, literally, because I got so much going on so that when people are sending me recommendations or suggestions, they might think I'm ignoring them, but not realizing I'm already scheduled out. So, you know, I'm maybe traveling or I may be doing something out of town somewhere. And no, it's it's not that I'm ignoring anybody. I'm just literally balancing out, balancing out my life and uh, just being ahead of schedule. So, uh, like, like I said, right now, I'm just getting back in the door, you know, and just this the first thing I get to, you know, just I, I love doing this stuff. You know, I love doing this. Even when I was uh, I visited a friend at a college campus and um, just having discussions with certain people, uh, I just feel my knowledge being so much more um, expanded based off of these videos and being able to talk about London and uh, a certain places, the UK, just just. Uh, France just mentioning certain things in history and it's like it's just the conversations are so much more um just just better right so with that being said we're gonna hop in the London vacation travel guide from Expedia original link will be in the description London's always a city that I've always um just wanted to go to always been attracted to love grind music I loved Oliver Twist as a kid watching stuff like that at like 1 a.m. 2 3 a.m. um yeah, so we're going to get to it. With that being said, here we go. London is situated in the southeast of England in the Thames Valley. Home to over 8 million people, the capital of the UK has been an important financial, educational and cultural centre for hundreds of years. Of the many gifts England has given to the world, none has been greater than her language and literature. And if ever there's a city that reads like an epic saga, it's London. The story of London began in the Bronze Age, but it didn't really get going until the Romans withdrew in the 5th century. Growing into one of the great medieval trading cities, she truly came of age in the 11th century, when William the Conqueror built the Tower of London, which was to become one of England's grimmest prisons. London is very easy to navigate around, and is compact enough to explore on foot. This world city is filled with iconic symbols. What's crazy is I seen a rapper from London. Um, he was from like the northwest, northwest London, um, like NW10, I think it's called out there. And he was shooting a music video, and he went downtown London, and in in a in a uh, behind the scenes, he's like, I've never even been over here before. Like I thought that was crazy. He's like, I never left. We well, say he uh, he said I never left the inns. I never been out here before. It's a whole new London. I was like, wow. <laughs> And one of the most easily recognisable is Tower Bridge, an impressive reminder of London's rapid expansion during the Industrial Revolution. And that rapper had me surprised because it's like, dang, I don't take field trips, nothing, you never left. Just upriver, at the Houses of Parliament, Big Ben's reassuring chimes peel across the city every hour on the hour. Buckingham Palace, perhaps the most famous palace in the world, is the official residence of Queen Elizabeth. It's a popular London attraction, offering tours of state rooms and gardens. Nearby, Kensington Palace is open to the public year-round. The palace and gardens will be remembered as the home of Princess Di and Prince Charles, and have recently undergone a multi-million pound refurbishment. Another legacy of England's monarchy are the Royal Parks of London. They were once reserved as private hunting grounds for the royal family, but nowadays they're open for everyone to enjoy. There are eight royal parks, 
and many of them are in central London and close to royal palaces and other historic monuments. Green Park and St James Park are right next to Buckingham Palace, Admiralty Arch and the Mall. Hyde Park is perhaps the most famous with its man-made lake, the Serpentine, and on the other side, Kensington Gardens is a beautiful open expanse that stretches east. I'm going to look into that. I'm curious why they call that man-made man lake the Serpentine. Towards Kensington Palace. The Albert Memorial is at the southern end of Kensington Gardens, and the striking bronze statue looks towards the Royal Albert Hall just across the road. The hall is yet another reminder of Queen Victoria's great love for her husband, Prince Albert. Many of London's greatest stories have begun in her houses of worship, and none is so impressive and important as Westminster Abbey. This is where kings and queens have been crowned, married, and even buried. London was rebuilt after the Great Fire in 1666, and St Paul's Cathedral is the most enduring monument to the city's transformation. It's a great testament to British strength and resilience. The West End in central London is a story in itself. Here, the streets are lined with ancient buildings, but the throngs of people are out to have fun. By day, the charming boutiques and cafes hum with shoppers. And by night, the bars along Carnaby Street are packed with patrons enjoying pre-show drinks. This is one of the largest theatre no. districts in the world. See, I've never seen this part of London. That's nice. I've never seen this part. It's just a downtown active life. Pre-show drinks. This is one of the largest theatre the districts vibes. in the world. <laughs> Sometimes it can feel like you're on a Monopoly board, with Coventry Street, Trafalgar Square and Piccadilly Circus all close by. Moving away from the historic centre, London's trendy suburbs offer a different kind of story. The Portobello Road markets in Notting Hill attract thousands of visitors, especially to the antiques market that's held on Saturdays, while the edgier Camden Town features six popular markets that are open every day of the week and operate along her streets, the canal, and in her historic stables. London is a city that honours not only her own story, but also the story of humankind. The British Museum is one of the finest in the world, and her treasures cover thousands of years of history and number in the millions. The museum is open every day, and best of all, it's free. From the ancient to the modern, the London Eye offers a complete change of pace and perspective. The massive wheel is over 400 feet high and takes 30 minutes to complete one rotation. From here, you can see the London of old, as well as some of the city's newest additions, all in air-conditioned comfort. London will always be a city that looks towards the past and the future in equal measure. From rule Britannia to cool Britannia, the fabric and the skyline of this city is forever turning over a new page. Which is, after all, what every great story should do. You could tell London's one of those places that uh, there's so much to offer. That, that this video probably, even though this is an amazing video, I'm sure it doesn't even do justice. There's probably so much hidden gems, so much that that just won't be captured. That can you say, I'm at, people probably can't get everything. Uh, my clients, one of my clients' husband sh said when he went to London, it was it was like as if it was New York, like endless, endless, just kept going and kept going. So with all those streets, all those blocks, could you imagine just so many hidden gems and stores? And I mean monuments and historic sites. I mean, it's just so much. Um, one of those places you got to go to. <laughs> you got to go to and just, uh, not even for a couple, a two days. You got to be there like a week, a solid week of just, at least at least three to at least three to four days of just traveling. And that's still not going to do justice. I mean, 
not to a city like that. <laughs> you know, it's just so much to offer. Very beautiful city, very beautiful culture. Um, the downtown looks awesome. I love I love the Wizard of Oz. Um, I used to act when I was younger. Um, I was on stage a lot. And my first play was The Wizard of Oz. I was one of the munchkins. Um, I used to have like, even though I got, obviously got long hair now, but when I was, I got long hair now, but when I was a kid, I used to have like, I mean, it was probably down on my kneecap, past my kneecaps and I remember my mom braided my hair like French braids. They used to think I was a girl. French braids past my knees, you know, just it, 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 and put me in the munchkin socks and, you know, it, <laughs> Hilarious, right? Um, I was a munchkin, for sure, in A Wizard of Oz, so that stuck out, you know. They got all the classics. The classics are always going to stick out if, you, um, if you're into that, you know. I'm one of them people, I'm into the classics. I like traditional things. London has, seems like it has a lot of classic and traditional things and historic things, a lot to offer. Um, seems like the people are very respectable uh, from what I've you know, what I've, what I've seen, what I've come across. Any person that I've come across from, that's been from London, uh, in that's been out here in America, has been very nice, to be honest with you. They're very, very nice uh, compared to just your everyday Americans. Um, eh, I, I, would, I would say they seem a lot more nice, you know. But uh, shout out to London! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Always definitely was, uh, I always felt a similarity between them. Me being a New Yorker, I always felt a similarity. I always felt like London, Londoners were just kind of like New York. It was like, it was like a parallel dimension, right? That's how it feels. It's like, just the, even the way they talk, it's just, it's, it's crazy, you know? Like we'll say, we'll say street, they'll say roads. You get what I'm saying? It's just like a parallel dimension, right? But with very, just very similarities, though. A lot of similarities. But with that being said, I'll be back with more soon. Original link in the description. I love you guys. Uh, love this channel. And, yeah, you know, we're going to keep this, uh, we're going to keep this car rolling. See you soon.